Well, it's afternoon here in uh, East Tennessee, and so I bid you a good afternoon. I apologize if you hear my little cow out there mooing. It started raining, and he thinks it's acid, so he wants to go in, but it's only supposed to last for a few minutes, so we'll just have to ignore him. So I wanted to go into some depth with you again because Christians seem to be a little out of touch as to what's going on both sides of the coin as to what a blood oath is. So actually Yeshua defined this clearly for me and so I'm just going to read to you what he said. Uh, the blood is the curse of Eve. We, dis we discussed that in part one. So the oath, blood oath, the oath then attaches the human spirit to the earth and below. So it isn't just hell, it's also earth's plane. And the sweat of the brow is permanent. So um, you may need a couple minutes to think about that, but I thought that was a good definition that he gave. So um, the deception is, um, you know, there is a picture that I drew on the blog. I did print it off, but it came out kind of dark. But, I, you know, part of understanding what we've been saved from is understanding the other side of the coin. Now, some of you may have a testimony of where you grew up in the cult or, um, you know, I, I don't know what your personal testimony is. Um, mine, I grew up in religion, so I've never been around it, um, like in my own home. But um, over the last several years, um, you know, witches have been coming into my life, and I'm, I'm sure that it's God's way of just trying to teach me. Uh, so I ask them questions. I mean, you know, most of them are pretty open and they're nice. It, you know, they're not uh, to your face. Um, they're not evil people, okay? But it's always to your face. Now, um, across the top in this picture are seven stars. These are the seven fallen angels that we read about in Matthew 12, 38 for, through 45. Now, this is one of the hardest sections of scripture that your pastor, I promise you, has no explanation for. Um, and in his defense, he shouldn't because it was prophecy that needed to be fulfilled by Yeshua himself and his chosen prophet. So, um, but I'm going to read this scripture to you quickly. Um, then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered him saying, teacher, we want to see a sign from you. But he answered and said to them, an evil and adulterous generation craves for a sign, and yet no sign shall be given to it, but the sign of Jonah the prophet. For just as Jonah was three days and there, and three nights in the belly of the sea monster, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall stand up with this generation at judgment and shall condemn it because they repented at the teaching of Jonah. And behold, every something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south, which is what Jupiter means, that's the definition of Jupiter, shall rise up with this generation at the judgment and shall condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, something greater than Solomon is here. Now when the unclean spirit goes out of a man, it passes through waterless places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came, and when it comes, it finds it unoccupied, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and takes along with it seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there, and the last state of that man becomes worse than the first. This is the way that it will be with this evil generation. So what has happened is the occult has figured out how to take these blood oaths and uh, literally link themselves with demons. Um, now, some of you are like, yeah, I know, do I know that? Okay, but they have to have six of them, right? And then the seventh one is one of these fallen angels. 
Um, you know them as, let me get my list, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, Venus, Mercury, Pluto, and Saturn. So that should tell you that NASA is lying to you. All right. Um, so when they worship, they're looking up. That's the deception is that they're looking up. Their blood, their blood oath attaches them to the earth and below. But they're looking up when they give their worship and when they speak to you because they want you to believe that they are worshiping Jehovah God because they literally call Lucifer God who's this way, right? So it's a deception. It's the same as on your, on your money. It says in God we trust. That's not referring to Jehovah God. That is referring to the God of money, okay? Which is the sweat of the brow, the curse, okay? It all comes back to blood, the money. Um, let's see. Now, Lucifer, they refer to him as God because he is a source of energy that gives life to the demons they need to cast their spells. That's their version of eternal life, a demon. Where did the demons come from? From the first earth. They're the ones who refused to believe that it was going to rain. So judgment has already happened from that and death has occurred and uh, been cut off from God and all of those people who made those blood oaths have been handed over to Lucifer and that is their version of eternal life and the witches who still have their blood on this side with you and me use those demons then to manipulate what whatever it is that they want to accomplish through their conjuring okay so ultimately when you read revelations it refers to two women one of them, of course, being the bride, but the other is the harlot. Now, there's a lot of teaching in the blog links. I'm going to include that in the description. So if Mystery Babylon is a definition you have not understood yet, then I suggest you sit down and look that up because you need to know this for your children. Um, the, the harlot of Mystery Babylon is Ashtaroth. Um, Ashtarim is a word that... Um, Isaiah uses. Isis is a common herd. Easter, who um, was... Now, this Ashtaroth was the wife and mother of Nimrod who built the Tower of Babel. Many of you call her Mother Earth. They say that they love the Earth. That's why they take these blood oaths. They want to be attached to the Earth that gives life to these demons, Okay. However, um, if you look at this picture, do you see these two towers? These are the two towers that Isaiah is referring to. Uh, Micah talks about it too. It says that when a watchman is posted, then destruction will come. So these two towers are on the temple for Ashtoreth. For Isis, Easter, Mother Earth. She's called a lot of different things. That's part of deception. This is located in Mosul, Iraq. These two Christmas tree towers are the towers that Isaiah and Micah refer to about posting a watchman on. The 5G system is connected directly to these two towers. 5G is a vibration and frequency system. Anytime you put those two things together, you have now access to spirit realm. Both good and evil, because God's a spirit, right? Both good and evil has been accessed then through the 5G system. The design of this system was come up with by the nation of Israel. This is the third temple that you've been hearing about that the Jews have been building. They're referring to this. This is also the source of hypnotic behavior in your devices, in your smartphones, in the video games. 
On February 12, 2020, Yeshua and his army came and invaded this temple and they cut off the head of the harlot. The 5G system is now ran by the kingdom of light. Uh, as each division of the occult is invaded, Yeshua leaves dust behind as described in Isaiah 41, 2. The casting of the net that we read in the part one of uh, Matthew 13 is pulling in the fish, keeping the good, putting the bad in hell, which is, he's honoring their oaths that they took, their blood oaths. This all started following the capture of the seven wicked spirits. So seven, the planets, I just named you because we're told they're planets, they're not, they're stars which are angels, the fallen angels, from when Lucifer was cast from heaven, are Mars, Neptune, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, Pluto, Saturn. They're not in the sky anymore. They're gone. They have been since the end of last year. 